All right. Good morning, Mayor Joe Yoakum, Council President Tim Salters here for our first update of the week. Um, right now, we are getting our information off the state site, which shows that we have a uh, 129 cases. We do not have the information on how many are still in quarantine or isolation right. at this time. Uh, Once we get that information, then we'll right. update it on our video like we usually do. And like we said, we're kind of in that transition period of going uh, to the state site to get the information. <clears throat> and as you know, um, sometimes it takes a little time to get things there, uh, get that updated. Traditionally, what they do is they usually update that at noon, but then we also have cases that might not be from the county attributed to right. uh, our number. So as of right now, we're at 129. Once we get total cases, once we get the active case number, we'll put that up there and then we'll kind of go through total test number and all that fun stuff to make sure that you have the best information available. Right. And right now, all we have is the information as far as the state goes. Yeah. Uh, I do want to mention this weekend, had a couple events that were- uh, Very good. And Very good. And appreciate individuals that, uh, Put those events on. We had the heap of Jeeps, which yep. raised them um, um, here around thirty thousand dollars for emergency services. Yeah, for our first responders. First I responders. mean, we can't thank uh, that organization, that group, and the people to put that on enough. Um, obviously, the first responders mean a lot to us. Absolutely. Um, and to be able to put on this event specifically for them, we can't thank everybody that was involved enough for that. And then also they had the uh, party at the pavilion, which was uh, offering haircuts yep. to the students before they start back to school this yep. week. Uh, my understanding is there were be between 200 and 220 kids that came and got haircuts and got backpacks and uh, that, Fantastic. that was a great, great event. event this weekend that was uh, put together by individuals. Uh, and I think it kind of showcases <clears throat> what our community is about, what's right. giving back and to be able to, you know, help first responders and then <clears throat> give back to students going back to school uh, obviously, we're extremely appreciative of that, and these are the things that we like to talk about, and that's something special about our community, and we can't thank those involved enough. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, other thing going on is the Reeves Across America semi trailer is down at Patrick Henry. Yep. Uh, for you to uh, come down and view and yep. maybe get educated on what truly is Reeves Across America, but also with that being a Monday night, the food trucks have moved down around Patrick Henry for this Monday only, and then they'll be back to the parks. But yeah. So if you come to Food Trucks tonight, you'll probably see the uh, Reeds Across America trailer. Uh, they kind of um, combine those two, and they're using the Patrick Henry area because we can kind of space out entry and exit. Um, and that's the key thing that we're trying to encourage is being able to have people space out and do that. But also since the Reeds Across America truck was here, we thought it'd be a good idea to have that there. I know Councilman Grove worked on that with his group. so. That'll be down here, Patrick Henry, five to eight, their typical Monday time. Absolutely. And now here's the big one. Yes. This is the one I've been waiting for for a long time. I wanna encourage everybody this week, Thursday, schools are back. Um, I know that we are not used to the school traffic. For a while. For five months. <laughs> uh, and it looks like uh, probably a lot more parents will be taking their kids to school. So on your drive to work in the mornings, you might leave a few minutes early and make sure that you are very cautious in the school zones uh, uh, because there's gonna be a lot more traffic out there starting Thursday. Thursday, yeah, and you'll start to see all the county schools uh, go go back towards the end of this week, beginning of the next week. Uh, we can't encourage, just, just being a little bit more precautious as you're out there and just taking, taking your time. Um, those are things that we encourage our student drivers, our parents, uh, as they're out and about because it has been a while. I mean, if we think about it, it was the beginning of March when we left for spring break and then we haven't been back since. Uh, we're excited. Uh, this is one of those big steps. Uh, if we get back to a sense of normalcy, which we are, we are very happy about, but do take your time. Uh, there is some uh, construction in certain areas. I do think of the Franklin area with the right. Forbes Road. Uh, you'll still be able to access through McKinley uh, but that Forbes Road section is blocked off for uh, construction when we're talking about drainage. So that'll be blocked off. And Forbes Road, that'll be closed, my guess, is until November. Yeah. Before that, all that work is completed out there. But there's still areas to work around, so don't panic right. if you haven't gone that route in a while. Uh, just take your time um, because things will probably be a little bit busy that first day. Um, and you've got Thursday, Friday before we get back into a rhythm on Monday. And, you know, there'll still be more traffic, but you know, it'll run smoother and smoother each day. Um, obviously we've got buses out and about. Please stop 
for our buses. When that arm is out, stop. Absolutely. Um, and that's really important for us. Um, and we know you will, and we do appreciate that as you kind of look out for our kids um, and our staff as they go back to school. Absolutely, just be careful and uh, keep your eyes open for the kids. And, yeah. And this again, is, like you said, the stop arms out, you are to stop for yeah. the bus. When you see the stop sign, just stop. Yeah. That's both sides. Uh, so we do appreciate that. But other than that, that's the big things we've got right now. A lot of good news today. Uh, so with that being said, Mayor. And, really, and back to our numbers. Yeah. We need to remember to wash your hands, social distance, and wear a mask if you're in groups. Yep. We've all got to do that to try to keep these numbers low. So uh, with that. With that, it's, it's time for your life. If you can't distance, wear a mask. Have a good one.